So two weeks ago, Bungie said that they were basically going to kill off Gambit, and then shortly after, everyone was looking at PvP, thinking, bro, PvP is next. Nobody cares about PvP. And then Bungie said, wait a minute, and they saw how many people started to get mad and started criticizing and how many people stopped playing PvP, and they were like, all right, hold on, hold on. Maybe a lot of people do care about PvP. We should probably care too. They released a panic, because this is what it is, okay? I don't care if you say that this is all collective and they plan- Nah, this shit is like rushed to- and this is quite literally what you and I would call a panic, right? They said, here's here's how the, how the article reads. I'll read it for you guys. After the recent criticism from the Destiny fans on the lack of PvP maps in the game, Bungie has now released a new statement from the D2 game director, Joe Blackburn, addressing some of the recent concerns and laying down the future for PvP fans, right? So this is the big dog saying, all right, all right fuck off. I'm going to step in. I'm going to talk to the people. And the new video posted on Twitter. I'm not calling it X, by the way. I'm sorry. I don't care. The game director acknowledged the lack of PvP maps despite a very active and passionate community on the PvP side. Now, let me tell you something. He's saying that he acknowledges that nobody plays it and he is going to be acknowledging it and working on it because nobody plays it. Nobody plays it because there's no maps, no no, no innovation, all right? The only trials, weapons that are like the only thing people care about, the fact that they're adept. Maybe gilding the Iron Lord seal. That's about it. Nobody cares about anything. No one is going to play PvP outside of adept trials, weapons, and armor, and maybe the Iron Lord, Iron Banner type related weapons. Nobody cares about the, all the other weapons that are in rotation because blowout, uh, what's it called? Riptide. All these weapons you can buy like from, ex from shacks. Like there's no reason to play PvP except having fun with friends. That's it. He said that he announced that Destiny 2 will be getting a PvP map pack that will contain new maps in a single drop next year. Which means that instead of having one new map every season or one new map every DLC or life cycle of the game, it's going to be like one map pack like you would in Call of Duty, for example, like Black Ops 1 with Escalation. Where you get like three, four, five, six, depending how many maps, all in a single drop next year in like a little pack. Now, we don't know if this is going to be like a built in thing that you can choose to download or not, depending on how people see it, or if it's going to be like built into the actual game and everyone is going to have it as is. It says next year, we're going to change our philosophy. Instead of a slow trickle of maps throughout the year, we're going to focus our efforts into a single map pack that's free for everyone. So, free is also another keyword here. A lot of people have been complaining that Bungie just steals money and they're hoarding it and they're doing all these things and they don't give back to the community despite them winning like a $3 billion lawsuit with Sony or something like that. So it's free, which is a good thing. But another thing that we have to look at is are these maps remastered or are they new? That's what we also have to talk about. Because if you're going to give me Destiny 1 maps from eight years ago, sure, it's more content, quote unquote, but it's recycled content. So even if it's free, it's lazy, which is the same argument that a lot of people have with Vault of Glass, King's Fall, and now Crotus End. So it says, so imagine new maps coming in one drop for it can make a bunch of new experiences that can all be good at specific things and add a big variety in a single drop next year. Now, this is a shift from our strategy. So it's going to take us some time to understand the details of what we're putting out here and getting that out to you all next year. If you tell me that the Beyond Light, Lightfall, Final Shape, Story, and Beyond takes over a year to create. I'm okay with that, and I believe you because, you know, you have to make cutscenes and all this stuff. It's, it's cool. PvP maps do not have that. Even if you tell me that there is lore in Fell Winter's Peak and that one map, whatever the fuck its name is, this one, I'll put it up on the screen. If you tell me that there is a lot of effort into putting in that map because of the lore and the things in the game that make sense and the structure, nobody cares. People just come here to shoot shit and use weapons they got. That's it. Like you creating or remastering maps and releasing them whenever the hell you want is something that does not have anything to do with the PvE side of things. So you saying that this is a shift from our normal strategy. What is your strategy? You don't add any PvE. PvP maps at all. You added that one Shinonuma looking map when the throne world came out back in like the Witch Queen. And that was like the one thing you added. So what strategy do you really have? All right. Either if you remaster maps or you make new ones, if, if, okay, if you're remastering maps, I just drop them. Nobody cares. No one wants to wait a year. People really think that PvP players want to wait a year. There are a lot of other games that they're going to play in the meantime. They do not care about waiting a year. They want to play now. People that play PvE, it makes sense because those people are obviously waiting for the final shape and whatnot. So they're going to stay regardless. Even if they say they won't, I will, you know? It just it, it is what it is. PvP, that's completely different. There's no DLC for PvP. Then it says, this means that players will get to experience the new maps all at once instead of getting one map every season or every other season and the year of the final shape. And there is no specific release date mentioned yet so to recap in a panic because they know that they're fucking up they're gonna release a map pack that is completely free 
of maps next year all at once no one map a season no map every other season no a map pack that's completely free for everyone boom right there as soon as the final shade comes out they're gonna announce a date whatnot blah 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 people not buying cosmetics and stuff like that from the eververse store is one thing people stop playing the game altogether is another thing bungie has to step it up okay because here's the thing the amount of pressure that the final shape has on its back you know what no hold on hold on i'm actually gonna save that talk in particular for another video that i'll upload after this one i'm just gonna leave this as pvp but this is the pvp side gambit gambit's dead and don't nobody give a fuck about gambit anymore pvp we're now talking about this so i'll make a separate video for final shape and what comes in like next week and stuff like that so let me know are you going to come back to destiny do you care about pvp do you think pvp is going to be saved are these maps going to be remastered will you play do you even care at all talk to me in the comments goodbye everyone have a good one peace out